Have you ever had a patient explain to you that they have problems after a period of sitting and then when they go to get up, oh, they have a hard time straightening up. So with this dynamic hypermobile instability model, two to five here, you could show that with this elastomeric disc that has been created with half the stiffness as these adjacent discs. Now you can show how, of course, we know with sitting, there's a tendency for the spine to go into flexion. And with that, now you can show the hysteresis, the slow migration and the slow change in the hydraulics of the disc. And then when they go, and it could be even a lateral shear a little bit, right? You can show the slow deformation over time and now you've got disc height loss. And when they go to stand up, oh, there is a shear element associated with that segment. And with that segment now, the facets likely have some approximation because of the anterior shear. When they go to stand up, oh, it's sore until the hydraulics restore somewhat in that hypermobile disc. So these dynamic disc models can be very helpful in helping patients understand their symptoms as it relates to their body mechanics.